Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Spider-Man. So we're going to start with the head and basically we're going to draw a big oval for the head. So starting at the top, we're going to work our way around to the left and down to the bottom. So right about here, so I'm going to start at the top, curve around to the side on the left, I'm taking my time down to the bottom. Now from here I'm going to go back to the top and draw the right side. Curving around, and then just closing that gap carefully. Okay, so now we've got the head. Let's go to the center of this oval and we're going to draw a little curve just for the center of the face. So right here, I'm just going to draw a little curve like that. We're going to go in the opposite direction and draw the same curve just underneath it. Now from these ends, I want to draw a diagonal line out to the side of the oval. So from here, I just want to draw a straight line aimed right at that side on the left and the same thing on the right. Now from here I'm going to draw on the eyes. So right at the end here I'm just going to step in a little bit right here for the end of the eye I'm just going to curve all the way back to that center part of the nose. So from here curving down to the bottom of the eye and then back up towards the center. I'm going to do the same thing on the right. So starting on the inside I want to make sure I come down to the same height along the bottom and end off just inside of the side of the head. So curving down and then back up to the top. Now we're going to go ahead and thicken up those eyes. So let's go all the way around each eye and making it a little bit thicker. So what I'm going to do, starting at the top, I'm just going to draw a straight line across the top just to make that thick and I'm going to color that in black. Now let's work our way around the side of the head, oh, side of the eyes. And then color that in black. Now let's go over to the right side and finish the same thing. So starting with the top, and coloring that in black. And then working our way around the inside of the eye. Now if you find that there's some areas that seem a little bit thinner than other areas, you can always go in and just kind of touch it up. Just kind of go in and thicken that up a little bit. Okay, so we got the eyes. Let's get into some detail on the head. So I'm going to draw some of the, the webbing. So in the middle here, I'm going to draw a straight line down towards that nose. And you see that I'm going towards my body, not away. It's a lot easier to draw straight lines when you're pulling towards your body. From here, I'm going to split this little section, this little pie piece, in half. So starting at the top, I'm going to work my way right down to the center there. So, and then again, with this pie piece on the right, I'm going to go and split that in half, right in toward the center there. Now with the bottom part, I'm going to split this in two, so I'm going with two lines out diagonally. So from the middle here, going out to the left, and then out towards the right. From the center, I want to draw these two little lines we're pretty much the same height as that center of the nose. So going out straight on both sides and then I'm going to split this down the middle. So this little pie piece is going to get split and it's will probably get tucked in behind that eye. I just want to aim for that center part right there. So going across like so. Now let's draw in some webs around the face. So starting on the middle, I'm going to start right about here. I'm going to draw a curve that connects these two lines. I'm just going to go across to the right then from here, I'm just going to go towards the eye. So you can see a little dip. Now let's go up to the top, because I'm going to split this in half too. So I'm going to go up by the eye, and just curve up. I'm going to go over to the right side here and just do the same thing, just so I can balance it out. And I'll know exactly where to aim for when I come in towards the middle. So right there, curve in there. Now I'm going to split the difference in between these areas. So between here and here, I'll find the middle and just split that in half. Same with the right, coming down, and on that side there. Now with the bottom here, I want to do pretty much, I could probably fit two lines in here. So coming down in the middle first, draw a curve like this, and curve into the eye on the left side as well. Now from here, I'm just going to curve 
down, splitting that area in half, like this. And I could probably just fit one little piece in there. Okay, so we got the head. Let's get into the body. Now with most of these smaller character drawings, I'm going to be starting with the side of the body, the, the, uh, the hips. So here I'm going to go down towards the waist. So the waist I'm going to locate right about here. So on the side, I'm just going to curve the left side and curve the right side. From here I'm going to connect these two pieces with a curve. So curving across like so. Now let's get into the arms. So what I usually do is start with the outside of the arm first. So moving over on the left, I'm going to curve down and then just kind of curve in towards the hand. Let's go over to the right side and do the same thing. So curving down and then curling around like this. Now back to the left side, I'm going to start working in the hand. So what I'm going to do is get some fingers in here. So I'm going to go up and do an overlap, curving around like that. I'm going to do one more overlap and curve this all the way around like this. Now from here, I'm going to draw on a thumb. So all I have to do is draw a curve. And I'm just going to split this with a little curve like that. From here, I'm just going to tuck this in underneath the body like so. Let's go over and do the exact same thing on the right side. So we're going to flip this over a bit. So curving that one finger here. So we're going to do another overlap and curve all the way around, kind of like a C shape. We're going to do a thumb with a curve like this. Now we're going to take that point and pull it right into the body, right underneath like so. Let's go ahead and split the gloves. So right about here, I'm just going to draw a curve. Let's go on the right side and do the same thing. Now for the body detail, I'm going to take the two sides in the shoulders, bring them in towards the middle, in towards the belt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to draw the belt area in first. I'm going to leave a gap in the middle, but on the right side here, I'm just going to curve a line up to the side of the body and towards the left. Now from this point on the right, I'm just going to curve and over that line on the side of the body. Let's do the same thing on the left side. So I want to make sure I end up roughly in the same spot, like so. Let's draw some lines for the body. And this shoulder, I'm just going to split this diagonally. And in the middle, I'm going to draw a straight line down. From here, let's draw this line to just close that bottom of the belt. And we're going to draw two lines down here. So one here and one on the side. Draw one here and one off to the side. Now from this point, I'm just going to curve up and out. Up and out. Now to draw some stripes and lines in the body, let's go ahead and draw starting near the bottom here. So from, I'll start right here and curve like I did with the face. Curve down. Curving across. I'm, I'll start to work my way up, so I'm going to go up here, and then one more at the top. Now I'm going to go to the side and just finish off these little openings. So I'm just going to take this and curve out, 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 and then on the left side as well. Now let's get into the gloves. So here on the hands, I probably want to just keep this really simple. So I'm going to take these fingers and just pull them into the edge of the glove. Go ahead and do that with this side too. With the thumb, I'm just going to want to just draw a curve like that, just to kind of make it feel like a section of the thumb is taken out. Here, I'll probably do this as well. I'm going to put that little little wrinkle in the thumb as well. So up here, let's flip this all the way up to the edge of the glove, all the way up. And then now from here, all I want to do is draw a curve, just across like this, and then the bottom ones for the fingers, just going across in the opposite direction. So we'll go up along here, up along here, and then along the bottom of the fingers, just across like that. Okay, so we've got the upper part of the body. Let's get into the legs. So down in the middle here, I'm just going to draw the lower torso line first. So in here, just drawing a short little line across. I'm going to work our way down to the heel. So right about here, I'm going to curve the heel on the left side, and then on the right side. So they're both sort of going in towards each other. Now I'm going to draw the feet. So to make this simple, I'm going to start with the foot first. So from here, I'm going to draw a curve around and then back to that heel. Let's draw that same thing on the right side. So curving around, circling around, and then back into the heel there. Let's take these hips. So from this hip line, I'm just going to curve out and right into that foot. On the right side, we'll do the same thing. Now from here, I'm going to draw the boot line. 
So from here, I'm just going to curve up. Here, I'm going to curve up. Now we've got to draw some stripes for the boots. So we're going to take this area between these two lines, so the outer edge of the leg and the inner edge. Draw two lines coming straight down on both sides. And right here, I'll probably just split this in half, come like that. Now for the foot, I'm just going to draw a line that curves like this, just to split that this way. And then two lines going across probably will be enough. So one this way, and one intersecting the other way. Draw the same thing on the right side. So, now let's draw in the little spider symbol. I'm going to do a really simple one for you. Starting up here, I'm going to draw a circle and color that in black. Just below it, I'm going to draw sort of a big oval and color that in black. Now from here, I'm just going to draw a curve and probably want to make that twice as thick so it kind of stands out a little bit. Draw a curve on the right side, make that twice as thick, and then we're just going to curve a wider leg, make that twice as thick as well, and then two going down. So from here, I'm just going to curve out on both sides, making that twice as thick, and then one more coming down, and making that twice as thick, and that is pretty much it. So there it is, there's Spider-Man. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.